Hello, what is up friends? Welcome slash welcome back. My name is Kay and today we are talking about episode 8 of Survivor 42. It was a very emotional episode and there is a lot to talk about so I'm super ready to get started today. But first, if you have not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below just so you can stay tuned as we wrap up the Survivor season. Now, let's get into it. So of course this episode opens up with a little bit of drama and we're going to see some bottom on bottom crime as Romeo and High are going to come for each other just a little bit. See, last tribal, Romeo wrote High's name down and somehow High ended up finding out. Now, a couple weeks ago, we saw on the show that High and Romeo were able to bond just over being members of the LGBTQ community together, which was really nice and wholesome. But I did notice that we didn't see an actual alliance form there. It was just a bond slash friendship. I think that the fact that they didn't end up forming an alliance caused for some serious ramifications in this episode. Roxroy also finds himself in hot water when he desperately tries to make an all guys alliance with all of the other men left on the island. Some of the dudes were down but Omer and Hai were not having it. They don't seem to like Roxroy that much, they don't really want to work with him and they don't really want to be a part of the misogyny club as Hai puts it. And I don't know where they got the idea that I would vote with all the boys. Like, I'm not part of the misogyny club here. Here's just my take on the whole all girls or all guy alliance thing. For me personally, I just don't think gender would be enough alone to fully make me trust somebody like that in the game. Like, there has to be more there, you know what I mean? Like, if I was in a game like this, it's not like I would necessarily be against working with other women at all, but it's like, how do I know I'm gonna trust every single individual girl to be a part of an all-girls alliance. I just don't think gender alone is really enough to build a solid bond in a game like this. I personally don't. It just seems like kind of a lazy and unreliable way to vet people and Omer and Hai seem to agree with that. We get to the challenge and everybody splits off into teams of two. Jeff announces that there will be two immunity winners, two tribals, and two people voted out today. The challenge kicks off and we see that Hi and Jonathan are both able to win individual immunity for themselves. So hey, congrats to them. After the challenge, the two teams split off and they go back to camp. At the first camp that is filled with all the men, Romeo and Roxroy's names are the ones that are really on the chopping block. Roxroy has been in trouble for a while now because I don't think people really like him a ton. Romeo is still in trouble just because he was on the outs last week and he hasn't really been able to be a part of a really big group. So he's just been kind of on the sideline the whole time. At first, it looks like it might be up in the air between the two of them, but that men's alliance thing that Roxroy where I tried to pull really really did not sit well with the rest of the group and that is going to end up being his downfall. We get to tribal council and these guys are men of little words. We don't really get any big metaphors or long drawn out speeches like we usually do during the tribals. The votes are read and Roxroy is the one voted out, which again really isn't too surprising seeing as though he never really found his footing within the big group. Over on the second team, it is Drea's name that is really the main one on the chopping block, with Jonathan being the one leading the charge against her. Dre has been a huge threat in this game, plus she's survivor rich right now, so she really is a threat to everyone. Jonathan tells everybody this plan and everybody is seemingly down with it at first. This group now goes to tribal where they all see that Roxroy was just voted out. Drea is shocked by this. She's left speechless and she looks really uneasy the whole time after seeing that Roxroy left. Jeff asks her what's up and Drea says that she's really upset seeing two black people voted out back to back and she didn't want there to be a third one in the row. She then announces to everybody that she will be using her idol tonight because she does not want to be the third person in a row, okay? And I do not blame her for that. Mary Ann is going to jump in and also announce that she and her good conscience could also not vote out another black person tonight. This just blows open the conversation and pretty soon we're having a really rich lucrative discussion about how racial bias can play a factor in the game. Hold up, let's just pause here because some of the discourse about this online has been questionable to say the least. I personally don't think that Chanel and Roxroy were voted out because of their race. Nobody does. But Drea doesn't know that. Drea doesn't know everything about the game or the All Men's Alliance or any of that stuff. In that moment, all she saw 
were two black people sitting over in that jury and she was just like, damn, I don't want to be the third. I don't blame her for that. Who wants to go home? Seeing Chanel and Rox over there probably set off her spidey senses, if you get what I'm saying. Like, she probably got an inkling that something bad was going to happen, which it was. Her ass was next and she was proactive about it. She took a stand and she told everybody, hey, I'm playing my idol, so it's not going to be me. And it's a good thing that she said it out loud because if she didn't, then it probably would have been Marianne and we would have ran into the same issues. So hey, good on you, Drea, for using your intuition. I can't be mad at you for that one, girl. I think the main point that Drea and Marianne were trying to make it's just that sometimes in shows like this, people get left out because of unconscious bias. Keyword there being unconscious. They weren't trying to call anybody out or call anybody racist, which I don't think Jonathan was understanding at first. It's fine though, I'm just, I'm trying to be understanding and I'm not just gonna automatically cuss out Jonathan for not understanding the nuances in this conversation, you know? Cause if you just get mad and cuss them out and just do all this, then nobody's gonna learn, you know? And what are we doing here? We're trying to learn from each other. We're trying to grow and be better people from these discussions, right? So after all of this beautiful, lucrative, discussion Mary Ann is going to play her idol. She's going to play hers out of principle because she knows that some of you viewers at home are going to accuse her of using the race card in order to get ahead in the game and she does not want that so she's just going to play her idol for her safety. I completely understand and respect this move even if it is technically wasting an idol because like I said before she's doing this for a reason. She's doing this out of principle to make a statement. I get it. I respect it. Unfortunately her plan didn't work out too well because on Twitter and Reddit I still saw people accusing her of using the race card and being racist anyway but you know what people are just gonna believe what they want to believe so I'm gonna let them have that so after this whole sticky combo Jeff just decides to let the whole group vote out loud instead of going to do it privately obviously because now that Mary Ann, Drea and Jonathan are all safe it means that the only options to vote out are Tori and Lindsay and it's pretty obvious who they're going to choose. Not surprisingly Tori is the one chosen and is going to become the next player voted out. So what do you think of this decision to vote out Tori? Do you think they made the right move or should it have been Lindsay instead? Let me know in the comments below. I'm also interested to hear your respectful opinions on tonight's episode and the discourse that went down during Tribal Council. Personally, I think this season is hot, 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 and I am so excited to see where it's going from here. As always, I'm excited to wrap up and finish up the season with you guys. I will see y'all later. Bye.